And I don't know where you've been, but you're gonna respect this courtroom. My life has proven that it's not about where you come from, it's about where you're going. From a jailed youth who had my record expunged to becoming the youngest judge elected. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. In just 15 years. Ma'am, let me know when you want to go to rehab. Otherwise, I think you're a crackhead. Absolutely not. My goal is to inspire others to overcome their obstacles. You don't need him and his little raggedy roommate. Thank you. All while having a little fun on Mathis Court. You look like you're ready to lie right the first <laughs> word out your mouth. <laughs> this is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Janet Hoyer is suing Casey Price in the amount of $485. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may be seated. Ms. Hoyer claims her neighbor offered to watch her son so she could visit her ailing mother and says she missed her flight when Ms. Price changed her mind. State your name. Janet Hoyer. Ma'am. Casey Price. All right, and ma'am, you're suing the defendant for $485, alleging she breached her promise to provide child care for you? Yes, sir. All right, we'll start with you. Your Honor, Casey is a neighbor that everyone has, one that's always asking for a favor but never returning one. And I'm not talking about your typical favors, some milk and sugar. No, she wants your whole car or $100 to run up the street when you both go in the uh, same way. Uh, uh. It's ridiculous. Yeah, everybody feel that way or just you? She just, you the sucker? No, me and some if other she, neighbors as well. You got some other suckers yes. on the block that she goes after? Yes, sir. Wow. Okay. All right. What's she do to them? Do you know what type of... Uh, the what stories type of go around. She it's on the them? same thing. If she can't get from one, she'll go to the other. Okay. So You're not like that, are you? No, you not know. at all. She's you don't con your neighbors out this stuff, do you? No. Not what she say. They don't have it. You don't have that reputation on I, the street, she, do you? She's making herself look good right now, but okay. we'll leave that alone. All right. Okay. And so how have you all, how long have you all been neighbors? For five years. Yeah. And what has she been like with your, with respect to your friendship? Honestly, we have become good friends. Good. And, you know, I understand people have... As long as you give that car up, doctor. Mm. You be, that's right, you're going to stay good mm. friends as long as you get that car up every month. That's how good of a friend I am. And I don't give to you, too. You do give, but... Un mm. you, give milk, you give milk and sugar. She gives, like she said, automobiles. I give her what she needs. Go okay. ahead. We're both single mothers, so I know how it is. So how many that's children why you I'm have? there. I have one, one mm -hmm. son named Neil. Okay, how many you have? I have one, Roger. Okay, how are they? A similar age? Yeah, oh, she, her good. son's seven, mine's eight. They go to the same school. Oh, good. Yeah, they, they play associate, together. They're friends. Oh, yes, good. sir. Good. Yes. All right, go ahead. So, uh, shortly before the incident occurred, uh, I was outside watching our children play, and unfortunately, I got a phone call that my mother had a heart attack. Mm. So I was on the phone for hours trying to find someone to watch my son, and Casey overheard the conversation and offered to watch my son for me. And she owed me this favor. As I usually do. I will help you just like you helped me. What does she owe you for this time? Because I watched her dog for a whole week, and I am not a pet-friendly person. No. But I did it. I of the kindness of my heart, I watched her dog. You watched her dog? She should watch your dog. Uh, she treats her dog like she treats her son, so. That's terrible, don't say that. No, I mean, she, she's a good uh, pet owner. That's oh, okay. what I'm saying. That's like, a yeah, good like pet she, 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 she should still treat her child better than she treats the <laughs> yes, dog. He I, treats I, his I, dog better than he treats me. <laughs> <laughs> mm. well, uh, you might be on to something. <laughs> He's definitely right. <laughs> Go ahead. Wow. Dog don't talk back. <laughs> Dog come and uh, get up under you and be nice. Doesn't okay, ask well, for money. I'll think of trying to get Doesn't one. Doesn't ask for money. True. Then come and get your clothes out the closet unless he needs something to chew on. Yes. Well, I thought it was easy to take care of her dog because I never hear of any issues, so mm -hmm. I did it. Okay, I, but I now it. this time she offered to take care of your son. Yes. While she you. Did. While I went to go visit my mother in New York from the heart okay. attack. How long were you going to be gone? For five days. And you told her that? Yes, Your Honor. All right. And so what occurred? So um, I was on my way to the airport, 
and I get a call from her. She's very upset and telling me to turn around now to come and pick up my son. And I'm asking her, like, what happened? What's going on? I could not get an explanation over the phone. I even asked to speak to my son. She said, no, come and get him. Allegedly. Was he hurt or anything? No, Did... he wasn't hurt. She just said that he was being misbehaving, and that was it. Oh. So I didn't... really didn't get the whole concept of the well, story. Let's hear I didn't from know what her today. Maybe she don't take no stuff. Let me hear from Ooh. you. So, first of all, this is my first time hearing that she don't like my dog, but okay. Coming up on Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Kicking your seat and what else? He was kicking my seat and telling me, you are not my mom and I don't have to listen to you. So you should have been a mother and de-escalated the problem and spoke to him right then and there. If so we're now friends, we're questioning my parents. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6870. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Mathis Court is back with the case of Janet Hoyer, who is suing Casey Price for travel expenses. What I understood to be a friendship was just that. I help her, she helps me, and it is what it is. And she offered, you offered to take care of her child. She, she didn't even me, have to ask. She asked me. Oh, okay. She and then I told her I would. Okay. Because I remember the conversation. She I was she didn't outside ask you. She said you talking while her kids were playing, and you heard me, and you're like, what's going on? I explained to you my mom had a heart attack, and then you were still there while I was calling relatives to watch my child. Either and way. then you were like, no, well, I will be way. there for Either way, I agreed. Right. Well, I'm just saying it speaks better of you, what she's saying and what I'm saying, but fine, you didn't ask. She begged you. Okay, <laughs> fine. Yeah. She had to beg you. Your neighbor had to beg you to take care of her child. As close as y'all been for five years, she take care of your dog, she does this, and you had she had to beg you. I had no I beg her for other things too, but, but like I said, to tell you, she, I'm she trying to say you need a benefit but I let of you speak though. offering. Go but ahead, you're not my mother. So Go ahead. I I told her yes. I agreed to keep her son, and it was not a problem with me. She told me that she could assure me that he was going to be okay. I've never seen him have any kind of behavioral issues before. We hang out all the time. Our kids play together. Never seen, you know what I mean, anything from him that was out of the ordinary. Mm -hmm. However, now that she's gone, um, I go. I pick them up from school. I was supposed to keep them Friday through Tuesday. And I get them from school. When we're on our way from school, they're in the back seat, I tell them, hey, when you get to the house, before you get on all your little electronics and all that stuff, you guys need to do your homework, right? So he begins to kick the back of my seat and tell me you are not my mom and I don't have to listen to you. So at that point, I said, okay, I'm gonna call your mom and she gonna come get you, cause we don't do that. And my son doesn't even talk to me like that. So I'm not going to allow somebody else's child. Because if it was my child, I'd probably put him over my knee. But it's not my child. So I felt like I was helping by calling her prior to her leaving. If she would have got on the plane, it would have been a whole other situation. You know what I mean? And he How? Where well, you was going to send him if I was on the plane? If she would have mm, got on friend. the plane and I called her later, it would have been a worse situation, right? But I, I, I was conveniently calling you before you even got on the plane. So you can figure out what you're gonna do with your son because mm. if he's already acting like this on day one, I can't imagine what he's gonna be like did day you, four or five. Did she ask or did you suggest she speak to him on the phone? Did I asked. She probably asked, I can't recall. <laughs> Um, so however, what happened? Why, I, why didn't you? Why however, didn't you think to? If she asked and you can't recall, why didn't you think to? Here, uh, you might want to talk to your son. That's the first thing you want to do. That's cool, but I did, when she finally got there, I told her everything that was going on. I explained it then. So if I didn't explain it all on the phone or what have you, it could have been just because I was upset at the moment. But I explained it later, and I told her everything. Kicking your seat and what else? He was kicking my seat and telling me, you are not my mom and I don't have to listen to you. So you should have been a mother and de-escalated the problem and spoke to him right then and there. If so we're now friends, we're questioning my parenting. No, I'm not questioning. I would never do that. 
I would okay. never do that. Questioning so your babysitting. I, yes, I, because questioning your babysitting. Yes, that's different from parenting. It's she like, said this, you like been the mother. child said, you're I'm not her mother. mama. Or you're not his mama. So I'm saying she's questioning <laughs> well, your you babysitting been my skills. You should have been you my friend told and me knew that. that I was rushing to the airport to go see my mother. Okay. And then just took care of the situation by yourself. So if you felt you know like you had children, a little Stewie Griffin over there with you, you should have told me that before I babysit at him but that, instead to tell you what you didn't tell me your son was a little Stewie Griffin now you <laughs> now your name called <laughs> uh, well, she, she didn't talk about my Lock me up right here Yana because I'm about, about to get she just said I should have been a mother in and de-escalated the situation like friends I am do, a great I mother. apologize but she Let me say fix my words. You should have been a friend and be been there for me. And so de-escalated the situation your yourself. You know he does not act up. Well, so I wouldn't have been able to handle honor, him the way I, I think that he was going through own, a little so I issue. You to handle your own. He was probably, like he's was never been away from do. me. Going, probably going through separation anxiety, wondering what's going on with his grandmother, just having a little tantrum. All you had to do was talk to him. But selfish. I did attempt to talk to him. But you are selfish. I did and attempt and did he didn't to try to. He didn't it want to listen to me. What did you say to him and what did he respond? How did I he told respond? him, I am an adult. Your mm -hmm. mom left you with me, mm -hmm. so you are going to have to obey. Okay. Just like I would anybody else who okay. I'm babysitting, which I've babysitted a lot of other people's children, and I don't have to deal with them talking to me like that. You know he does not do that. So obviously there was a situation. But she tried. And so she, you said she should have de-escalated. She said she did try. Man, what did your son tell you? Let's go to, let's get there. He's seven years old or eight. He uh, honestly what did told he me say? that he just missed, he, he did not like that I left him. He never slept out of the house. I At what point did he tell you this? When you came back home? While I was trying to find another sitter, as soon as I picked Where him up from her. Where were you all? When I, you, was, I was driving to the airport. When he told you that, was he in the car, in the oh, house? We were in the car. We were in the car driving. I was taking him mm -hmm. to uh, another, a friend's house. So what house. did you say to him? I just told him, regardless of how you feel, you never disrespect adults, and you know better. And he should have known that before he came. Okay, so what did you do with the, with the situation then? How did you handle it after that, going to see your mother? Okay, so I ended up leaving him with a friend, and... That I, friend have any complaint? No. He had, he had no complaints at all. Coming up. She clearly did not want to watch my son. Like she picks and chooses her favors to give to her neighbors and her friends. You said she, she offered to. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Mathis Court is back with the case of Janet Hoyer who is suing Casey Price for travel expenses. How does she owe you money, though? She owes me money because I had to turn around and catch a red-eye flight that cost me $485. Your Honor, I'm a single mother, and I work paycheck to paycheck. I could not that? afford that. Ugh. Yes, I did. But if she would have took the time out to understand what was going on or even ask him... You have him, no obligation to do that. You got to watch who you agree to accept the gift from. Man, she owed you. me a favor, and she, mm -hmm. I even have the text messages that she... owed you a gift. She, there's no such thing as owing a gift. Mm -hmm. I mean, people use that terminology, but there's no such thing. A gift is not enforceable. It is not a contract. You can't enforce a gift until it's completed. Other than that, it's a promise of a gift. It's a promise of doing something for you. The gift was to handle, to take care of the son. That was the gift you giving her. Then you failed to take care of the son. So you took that gift back. Hmm. But was the gift conditioned upon him behaving in a reasonable way? Hmm. Because no one can expect you to give them a gift that's going to cause you harm hmm. or Pain hardship. Hmm. My son told me that he... Uh, try to apologize to her and she didn't even want to accept the apology. She clearly did not want to watch my son. It was like she picks and chooses her favors to give to her neighbors and her friends. You said she, she offered to. Coming up. I'm not going to let you talk to your child. She did not let me speak to him over the phone. You asked? I did ask And she your said honor. no. She said no. Come and get him. She mm. said come and get him. She bailed on me. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. 
Mathis Court is back with the case of Janet Hoyer, who is suing Casey Price for travel expenses. You calling all these folks and she's the only one that offered. Nobody else even picked up the phone. Mm. Maybe nobody they, wanted to be bothered with you. Maybe they know something you. that we don't know, Judge. Yeah, that's what I say. Hmm. Nobody wanted to be bothered with hmm. you. You say you called for Everyone hours. Everyone was busy and it was short notice. Why you everybody know? busy when you call? Everybody busy when you call? She lives Everybody close. busy when you call? Sometimes. Well, they don't want to be bothered with you either. They. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody not busy. Nobody. They're not busy when I call. Few people are, but not everybody. Everybody you call is busy. Your Honor. At least they pick up for you. Do they pick up for they you? You're, up. They you're not on block? Up. No. How many people? You don't no. know whether you're blocked or not. I'm not blocked. <laughs> I'm not blockable. I get that little one ring, and then they send a text. That means block. Oh, no. So one ring, and then it goes to a text, hey, can I call you back? That's what you do to me. Yeah. Don't get me upset. <laughs> All right. Now, that's what my son does. He's right. He does just that. Can I call you back? And then when he does, he says he forgot. Any event, ma'am, this was a promise of a gift, and she should not have, um, the gift should not cause her hardship or put her in harm's way. Uh, and she would have been in harm's way had she laid hands on your son. Mm. And that might be how she would have chosen to resolve that. Huh. I think she did best by telling you to come get the child, but you should have insisted on speaking to your child. I think that's where you missed, where you messed up. I did, Your Honor. She can't prohibit you from talking to your child. I don't believe that. I she can't say, I no, her. I'm not going to let you talk to your child. She did not let me speak to him over the phone. You asked? I did ask, And she Your said Honor. no. She said no, come and get him. She mm. said come and get him. She bailed on me. How will Judge Mathis rule? Find out when Mathis Court returns. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Your dog wasn't a perfect dog when I watched him for a week for you to go on vacation <laughs> with your family. That's a We're good not point. About my dog right with your... So because she felt my dog wasn't well behaved, now it's okay to drop your son off to me knowing that your son ain't well behaved. I didn't behaved. drop him off to you. First of all, you know I go all out for my son. We, we've we known each other too long to be even How are your growing. children doing? They're, they're, they're in the first and second? Or f what's, what grade they're are they? They're second and third. All right. And there are no complaints from the teachers? They're, no. I don't. We Our All children right. are not problem children. They get so along. We get along. They have their typical, oh, you kick the ball too hard, or this and that, like how little boys play. Yeah. But they have never gotten disrespectful to either one of us. I don't know how he's behaving. Ma'am, I'm going to have to dismiss your claim. She had no obligation to you. And when it t appeared to her that it was going to be problematic, either perhaps putting her in harm's way, kicking, kicking the seat and talking crazy, you might want to reach back and get your feet okay. off my seat. Get your like feet off my seat. And boom, like there goes an accident. No. So, no, she had no obligation to continue with a gift that put her in harm's way. So I'm going to have to dismiss your claim. Have a good day. All the rise. Judge Mathis has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been dismissed. And I hope you know that I was trying to help you. No, you weren't. You knew I had to get to my Well, mother. I tried to do what I had okay, to do. Okay, well, thanks. Okay. You can head this way. This has been a production of Allen Media Group.